Uber's goal to go fully electric by 2025 is a necessary one. It's great to be able to feel like I am making my own little bit of impact. It is that tight, tightrope that everyone's walking right. How do I live and make a difference at the same time? I'm Casey Clark. I'm an Uber driver and entrepreneur. I have my own cake business, Sweet Cakey Thick. Right now I'm about to get stuck into making the lemon curd, um, which goes into the lemon lush. I'm not trying to become the world's best taxi driver, you know? So my priority is my cake business. It's so flexible that I'm able to switch on and switch off when it suits me. I'm team. Team. Yeah. In order to make this kind of work work, you need your vehicle to be the most economical you can get your hands on. After driving a diesel engine and finding the costs to be exorbitant, I had to find a way to save money when I was doing this job because all of my money was going into the petrol pumps. Like, who am I working for here? I think obviously for a ride hailing driver, the cost is everything and is always going to be ultimately the deciding factor as to whether the car really fits in with their life. It's really exciting to see what Arrival's developing, to see this amount of attention and detail going into creating a purpose-built car for Uber driving and for living. I think it's really refreshing to hear about a company's people-centric design approach. I've never been asked before my personal opinions about what I would like to have in a car. So this is thrilling. It's kind of groundbreaking in that respect.